in 95, they drilled the first hole just east of my house. Drilled the first four holes on the property just below my house in 97. I started having troubles, pains, cramps in the muscles, sinus problems, headaches, dizzy spells, uh, but not, nothing major. In 2003, they put an EVAP pond right at the end of my driveway, the pad right at the end of my driveway, uh, another one a half mile to the east and one a half mile to the west. 2004, it was a rough year. I, I was having a hard time at work. I couldn't hardly get around. By September 2004, my whole body shut down. I couldn't reach my face to eat. I couldn't walk. There's constant venting of the tanks because they're, they can only take so much pressure and then that, that those toxins and those VOCs are vented into the air. Uh, all you have to do is look around at the top of the tanks. Uh, they have relief valves on every pipe coming out of the tank and as a pipe fitter and as a, a person in the industry, relief valves are the made to relieve pressure and therefore the, the volatile gases are then released into the atmosphere. It's daily, it's 24-7. That's what we have to live with and that's what we're being polluted by. Is See happening? right here, all of this is happening? Oh yeah, you're gonna get it's, hammered. Well, you can uh, tell. I am afraid for the health of my, myself, my wife, and my kids. That's just venting. And that's not being burned off by a flare. No. Thanks to recent Obama administration announcements, Rick and Eric have reason to hope. In late 2015, for the first time, the Environmental Protection Agency announced they would regulate methane pollution from oil and gas operations. When this rule is finalized this spring, it will govern new and modified sources of methane pollution in two important ways. One, it will require the best available technology to limit venting of methane and two, it will require operators to look for leaks and to plug them. The new source rule will eliminate the climate equivalent of up to 9 million metric tons of carbon dioxide by 2025. But the new source rule is not enough. By itself, it will leave 70% of oil and gas methane pollution sources unregulated because it won't govern existing facilities. That means without strong rules governing existing sources, the Obama administration will not meet its Paris commitment to reduce methane pollution by 40 to 45 percent. And people like Rick and Eric, and the tens of millions of other Americans living with oil and gas air pollution, won't get the help they need. Fortunately, President Obama recently announced a path to regulate existing sources as well. Uh, today we're also announcing some new steps. Canada's joining us in our aggressive goal to bring down methane emissions in the oil and gas sectors in both of our countries and together we're going to move swiftly to establish comprehensive standards to meet that goal. EPA has begun requiring oil and gas companies to provide information necessary to begin a formal rulemaking for existing sources. The Methane Partners campaign will continue its work to make sure that vision becomes a reality.